In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the if command to change your snippet output based on a condition. Let's watch it in action first. Notice how when the total price exceeds $49, a new line shows up at the end of the snippet. Let's build it together. This is the snippet for my basic invoice. If you'd like to learn how it's built, we have a detailed tutorial in the pop-up. I'm going to create a dynamic logic command that will check whether the order total qualifies for free shipping. For this, I need the if else command. In the condition field, I'm going to test whether the result of multiplying price by quantity is greater than 49. If the answer is yes, I want this text to show up. And this is the result. Let's take it a step further. If the result is less than 50, I want this text to show up. Otherwise, I want this other text to be inserted. Let's test it out. For my next iteration, I want my if command to insert a different text based on my choice from a drop down menu. Let's add the menu first. We also need to give it a label so that the if command can check our choice. For my if command, I'm going to check whether United States has been chosen and specify the text accordingly. But I have two other options in my drop down menu and I want them to produce different outputs. To do this, I can nest another if command in the no section. Let's just put some placeholder text for now and click insert. Now I can remove my placeholder text and replace it with a new if command. And this is the result. Another way to build this is to use the else if command like this. The else if command allows you to set an alternative in case the first condition is not met, and you can add as many as you need. You can learn more about else if on our help site. Now for the finishing touch, a customized greeting. The result is fine when I fill out the text field, but if I leave it blank, I'm left with an unwanted space between my greeting and the comma. To resolve this, I'm going to use the if command to check whether the text field has been filled and add a space accordingly. In human language, this line means the contents of the form variable called recipient are not empty. So if the text field labeled recipient is not empty, I want a space to be inserted. I'm going to leave the no field empty because I don't need it. And you can see how that works out when I insert the snippet. To learn more about how to use the if command in your snippets, check out our help site and make sure you join our community.